Hello everyone, my name is Josephine Ness. I'm the Director of Admissions at Oregon Tech. And in this video, we are going to go over how to fill out the self-report form on our application. Now the self-report form is required for most students. However, if you've completed your GED, if you are an international student, or if you are over the age of 21, you do not need to fill out the self-report form. However, most people will need to fill it out, and all of you in high school currently who are going to high school here in the United States, you will need to fill out this form. So the self-report form is over here, and the first thing you'll need to do is select your high school type. If you're attending a public or private high school, you'll select high school student. If you're homeschooled, you'll select homeschool student. And if you've completed your GED, you will select GED student. You'll also tell us whether you've completed college courses while attending high school, and then you will enter your high school information. There's also an opportunity for you to report your SAT or ACT scores. This is completely optional, and reporting your SAT and ACT scores will in no way hurt your admission decision. However, in some instances, ACT and SAT scores can help your admission decision. Here are the, the high school self-report uh, instructions. We are requiring you to report four English courses, three math courses, three science, three two social science, and one career or technical education or fine art, as well as one academic elective. This is what the self-report form looks like. And as you fill out the, the form, additional sections of the form will appear for you to continue filling it out. We're going to start with our required English courses. So you're first going to select English course one. This is the English course that you took your freshman year of high school. And we highly recommend having your transcript in front of you or access to your online student portal so that you can view your grades that you received throughout your high school career and that you can accurately report them in this form. If your school gives grades per semester, so fall semester and spring semester, you will enter your grades here. However, if your school provides grades for a full year, or if you're on a trimester system, you will use the year-long grade function. And instead of putting in two grades for the semesters, you'll put in one grade for the entire year. We're going to assume that we're going to a semester school, so we're going to put in our two grades for our English course here. You're also going to select the level of the English course. So if it's a standard English course, you're going to select standard. If it's an honors course or an advanced course, you'll select honors or advanced. If it's an AP English course, you'll select AP. You can also select IB or college level if you took college courses while in high school. So we're going to go ahead and select our English courses. And as we enter the information for English course one, the information for English course two drops down and we're gonna enter our grades here as well. English course three then drops down and we can enter our grades for English course three and then English course four. Now, if you're a senior in high school, English course four might be in progress or planned and you may not have taken it yet. If that's the case, you can select in progress. So if you have no grades for that course, you can select in progress, or if you have the grade for the first term, first semester, but not the second, you can select in progress for that grade. After that, we need to enter our math courses. Now, this is a little bit different in that the drop down menu gives you options for what math course you took. So you'll want to select the math course that you took your freshman year. And if it's not listed here, you can select unlisted and you can type the name of the course here. So we're going to go ahead and enter our grades for our math courses. and our third math course here, and the level. Now, if you have additional math courses that you've either taken or plan to take before you graduate high school, you can add more courses if you like. Next are our lab science courses. Just like the math courses, these have options that you can choose from, or you can select unlisted and you can enter the course that you took. We're going to go ahead and enter our lab science courses here really quickly. And then if you have additional science courses, you can enter them here. 
Then we're going to enter our two social science courses. These can include courses such as history, geography, civics, economics, culture, political science, etc. You can see uh, we've got options here, or you can select unlisted. Um, and now another option is if you have taken a, a combination of semesters, you can enter the semester separately. So if you took one semester of physics, you can enter another lab science course. Let's say you took one semester of environmental sciences. That's how you would list that there. Continuing on to career technical education or fine art. These are courses such as robotics, computer science, automotive, culinary, choir, band, music theory. Any of those count as career technical education or fine art. And you need to report one year of CTE or fine art. So if you took one year of choir, you can enter that as so, and there is your CTE or fine art. But if you only took one semester of choir, and you took one semester of Allied Health, you can enter it like that. Lastly, you need to report one academic elective, one year worth of academic elective. This can be an additional course beyond the required number of courses for English, math, science, social science, fine art, or career technical education. It can also be a foreign language. So the first thing you're going to do is select the category of um, course that you want to enter. So in this case, we're going to put our language course. And then you'll have a drop down menu of various languages that you can select. You'll enter your grades and the level. And that's it. That is how you fill out the self report section of the application.